Hey guys, it's JT Tran, and today a really special couple. Here we have a polyamorous couple, Jeff Kahn, who is a resident threesome expert and coach at the ABC of Attraction, and his girlfriend, Anna. So uh, this couple, you guys engage in what is called a polyamorous lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. Um, for those of you who don't know, polyamory is, how would you describe it? Uh, multiple loves. Poly in Latin means multiple. Both. Amor means, um, yeah, more means love. Multiple love. Okay. So combine multiples. Cool, cool. Now obviously this isn't a lifestyle for everybody, but for those of you guys who are interested in threesomes, would it be correct in saying that you had more threesomes than almost any Asian guy, unless you're a porn star. Like, you're not a porn yeah, star, yeah, but you're yeah. a rock star. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't do this professionally. <laughs> porn professionally or anything. Right, like but that. you would, you know, we won't, like, call out numbers, but almost like a, a threesome every year of your life. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 Much. And it's just give me, uh, just to correct me if I'm wrong, Anna, this is just girls, right? And this is your primary guy. The only guy in your, in your relationship. Yes, yeah, so I don't see any other guys. I just see my boyfriend, um, and we have a lovely time uh, taking ladies home together and <laughs> having our fun thing. Wow. <laughs> now, obviously this is unique, um, but if you guys are on my Facebook, there was this recent article that I posted and I shared about the city and if I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sure, Dong Guan, where guys, there are so many women that a guy will have two or three girlfriends. And it might not be the dream of every man, but I'm sure it's the dream of a lot of guys. So Jeff is sort of living the lifestyle that a lot of guys want. All right, Jeff and Anna, tell our audience how you guys met. Like, why did you decide that this Jeff here was the one? So um, we met in college, um, went to the same school, and then um, we we, got, we were hooking up, and then um, we could talk about the whole like before we graduated from college. We had crazy sure. reasons. So before we graduated college, I was actually seeing uh, another person on the side who was a woman. Um, and uh, so in college you knew you were, you were bisexual at uh, least uh, sure yes okay. um, well actually no um, I thought I was going to be a straight up lesbian I thought okay. I was going to be done with dudes and everything and I met Jeff and he came across as somebody who really was genuine uh, somebody who really cared about other people and somebody who really knew what he wanted in his life and something about that was just I don't know if he just like had game or what he did, <laughs> but um, you know he just drew me in like even you know just looking at him I was just floored so you know I got to know him more and stuff like that and at the time too it was an open relationship with my girlfriend uh, because she was seeing another dude on the side who's white but um, <laughs> Some people make poor choices. Oh, yeah, she made a poor choice. Oh, until uh, she actually met Jeff because she was like, oh, like, are you seeing another man? Like, what are you doing? And so I was like, well, yeah, uh, would you like to meet him? And we all went out to a diner and we sat down and we talked with one another. And she was just, she was just seemed really, like, drawn into him as well and she was like oh okay well let me know if you'd ever be down for a threesome and I was like I'm getting right on it so then I went over and I talked to Jeff and of course Jeff was down you know because we were both two ladies and we got together on Halloween night and it was fantastic yeah. cool awesome yeah. no, that's, a, that's a great little polyamory love story I yes. love it <laughs> full of more show drama as well <laughs> You, Jeff, um, have achieved both cold and hot, you know, warm threesomes. What is the difference for our audience? So cold threesome is when you go out and like, it's like a cold approach. Uh, you go out and talk to strangers and get a threesome from there. And warm approach is when you, like, you know, it's like either a mutual friend or like uh, some kind of like connection you've already had with the girls. Okay. And cold is something that you've done before. Yes. You've, like, Went out there, complete knew yes. no girl, mm -hmm. and you picked both yeah. of them up. You had to pick both without, of them up without her help too. Yeah, so, yeah, I have, and that's pretty difficult, isn't it? Yeah, it's very difficult. Like really quickly, again, not going into too much detail because we have a lot of um, 
strategies and tactics that we want to, d to discuss that everybody can use, but tell a quick story of like one cold, basically double cold approach threesome that you did. Okay, um, quick story. When I was in Vegas, uh, saw two girls dancing, went up to them, there was a guy there, we can do with him. Uh, we danced for a bit, brought them to the bar. Some guy tried to AMOG me, with, it was this guy's friend. I destroyed the AMOG. Uh, the guy ended up leaving. I took the two girls to their um, hotel room. First, I had sex with the one girl in the bathroom, which was a white girl. And then um, right after, her Latina friend was in the bedroom, and then we all just had fun together. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, now, Anna, how do you feel about that? I think that's absolutely wonderful. I have absolutely no problem with what he does um, because I've also, um, you know, just been supportive and I'm happy to have him for my life. So. Now, the thing is, most guys will get through some typically through war, which is when you have a girlfriend. Like, that is, like, I've had a cold, but... The most I've ever had was like when I had like a, a dedicated girlfriend and she was the one helping select the girl that she wanted to also sleep with, which is cool, um, but that is the most common thing. Like in your mentality, like tell the audience here, um, how do you get a girlfriend like you to be into threesomes? Sure, so usually what happens is that if I'm uh, hanging out with a girl and you know, uh, she meets Jeff here, um, she might talk to him and, you know, sometimes girls have actually just come right out and said, oh, you know, like, that's a very handsome man. <laughs> I remember my fitness instructor actually uh, just said it right when he walked into the door. She was just so floored with him, like, how he presented himself and stuff. And so then um, at that time period, I was just like, oh, well, you know, like, you know, Jeff is in a relationship with me, you know, like, would you be interested in coffee with him it's really an open thing besides like the more women the merrier i mean i like having company i like having friends and i well you pretty much have to have like um a girl who's open like her very uh, sexually open mm -hmm. um and if she's interested and attracted to the guy and she's willing and she's also interested in the threesome itself and she's because anna is very uh interested in like other women too oh, she, sure. uh, oh. she dates other women and i do too you know, right. as long as you make sure that the sexuality is open, um, she's open to see men, I mean me, and other women, then the threesome, that's how you find a girl who's into the threesome. Right, right. So obviously there's a screen and trying to find that, that girlfriend. Yeah. Um, but a quick history about you, Anna, mm -hmm. is like you dated primarily women in jail, but you all, you've also very uncommonly dated other men. They've all been Asian, is that correct? Yes, so I identify as women flexible, meaning that I primarily prefer women, but men are exceptions. But the only men that I am interested in dating are Asian men. <laughs> wow, that's a unicorn right there. <laughs> <laughs> cool, and I imagine one of the keys in having multiple threesomes and maintaining a relationship like this is honesty and communication. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, how do you maintain that? Uh, I'm sure jealousy occasionally flares up, doesn't it? Um, sometimes, like, but you gotta really risk manage everything mm -hmm. and make sure that if it does flare up, you address it right away. Um, talk to her before and after play. Make sure that she um, is always comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had a funny story once. I got so jealous because this girl once, she had, she had such lovely hair. She was half Asian, half white, right? And, you know, a lot of Asian women have such beautiful, beautiful hair. And I got so mad that I told him, like, she has to walk home, like, don't bother bringing her home, and stuff <laughs> like that, and it was, yeah. it was a catastrophe. After I played with the girl, um, after I had sex with the girl, she um, got really jealous of the girl, because she was really jealous of the girl's hair. That was, <laughs> yeah, but that was years ago, yeah. and I, I'm over that catty yeah. phase. Now okay. it's just more for me. Fair yeah. enough. Mm. So, Jeff and Anna, what kind of strategies would you say when it comes to warm? Like you, we've been teaching uh, and exploring a threesome seminar, which hopefully at some point you guys will be able to download or watch or, you know. Um, but what are some quick tips when it comes to our audience who are looking to achieve more threesomes with their girlfriend? All right, three things. When you, you guys both need to be gaming girls. Uh, just can't rely only on the guy. You can't rely only on the female. Both 
got people, both couples need to. Um, so both are participating. Both in the participating, yeah, okay. exactly. You have to participate. That's the only way you can get as much as what I'm getting. Um, also, you need to look, when you guys find a candidate, the girl who might be interested, she has to be uh, have the right sexuality. So she must be either bisexual or bi curious. Uh, she has to be attracted to both of you. Uh, that you can do that by seeing IOIs or a compliance test. And then um, the last thing is if she's actually interested in a threesome. Because she, be, she could be bisexual and attracted to both of you, but she might not be into threesomes in general. So um, just have those three figured out, and then that's how you get threesomes. Anything else you want to add, Anna? No, that sounded perfect. Okay. Now, here's the thing for a lot of our audience. Uh, they suffer from, oh, I don't know, like this white girl, this black girl will like me. Now you're asking to <laughs> them to try to find two girls that are into Asian guys. And obviously this is where like the ABCs of attraction come in because you want to be attractive and confident as an Asian man. As you were pointing out, like the, the fitness trainer is like, oh, just a very handsome young man, right? Oh, and you have to be able to exude that confidence so that if you are going to have a girlfriend that's open to relationships, you, as Jeff pointed out, you both have to participate. You both have to screen which girls that you're going to find. And speaking of screening girls, where can you find girls that both of you might be able to meet? Like, where do you meet them? You can meet them anywhere, um, uh, like clubs, bars, that's good. You could just see how girls interact with other girls. She's made out with other girls in the clubs, bars. Um, <laughs> You can go online, go on like dating sites. We've gone, we both have gone dating sites and gone girls to have reasons with us. Um, yeah, online and in person, it really doesn't like it's everywhere. Girls, there's bisexual girls everywhere, so okay, yeah, not limited. Anymore. <laughs> That's great. So obviously, this is a lifestyle for everybody. It's a fantasy. It's probably the number one fantasy of a lot of guys, but not it's not for everybody. You obviously have to have the right girl. And Jeff found the right girl, and. But other guys want to have relationships, and obviously this is where maybe Johnny Wolf's like get relationship ready is a choice for you because you want to be in a monogamous relationship. For the rest of you though, if you want to achieve that fantasy, if you don't want to be a porn star, but you want to be a rock star, get that girlfriend that's having that's down for an open relationship, mm -hmm. right? Uh, anything else you guys want to add? Um, just give it a try, you know, two girls are always better than one. <laughs> <laughs> anything else? Cool, cool. Well, check out the rest of the information down uh, in the description, and we will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys, for coming. My name is JT Tran, and you are here for the How to Get a Threesome Seminar. You guys are in for a real special treat because what we have today is a real-life polyamorous couple, Jeff Kahn one of our ABC's coaches, and later during the Q&A panel, we'll have his girlfriend, Anna, a lesbian pickup artist, also join us to answer your questions on how to get threesomes. All right, you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah, come on, you guys excited?